Hi everybody, I'm Dorina Barikina. I'm a beauty and advertising photographer and I'm here at workshop to show you guys how to work with the ring light. So before we begin shooting anything, we have to figure out our setup. I just want to give you a couple pro tips on how to use a ring light and make sure your setup is ready for the photography session. Now, first things first, make sure that the head of the light looks at the lag of the light. Um, currently it's incorrect, so we're gonna go ahead and move it around. We need this to make sure that our light does not tip in case we angle it, right? This is extra stability for the light itself. Then after we did this, normally people shoot through the ring, but what do we get? We get all these bad shadows that we don't want. My suggestion would be to raise the level of the ring light a little higher and tilt it towards your client or your model a little bit. Now, why do we tilt? Is because we wanna mimic the daylight that we see um, outside. Sun is right above us. So we get natural um, shadowing on the face, but also beautiful flat image for actually anybody that's more mature, or older than 18. This angle is probably the best because you can flatten everything underneath the eye. Now, the common complaint that I get um, with this setup is that the bottom of the hair, in case you're shooting it this way, um, can, be dark and, um, can be darker than the top, right? Because we're lacking lighting here. Now, the trick I wanna show you is using reflectors. So you can look at my face right now and how it gets brighter as we slide it in, right? Okay, so that is a very simple trick. This piece is super affordable, like 13 bucks. So it's a great um, investment in case you're working on somebody who has long hair and you really want to make sure the lighting hits the top, but also the bottom is evenly lit as well. Um, another piece of advice that I want to show you, which may not be super visible here, but just trust me on it. If you look around in this room, we have a lot of really yellow lighting. And isn't it a killer for any icy blonde? Now, what we want to do is um, manage the color temperature of our light. Currently, it's really cool. It's like really um, blueish almost. What we wanna do is slightly counterintuitive. So you wanna warm it up. Let me see, oh, that's the power and this is the warmth. Here we go. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but everything got really warm. We're gonna get our camera like a minute to readjust. So what's gonna happen, the camera will cool off entire scene. Since we have yellow overhead lights, and also yellowish key light, um, entire scene will be cooled down to neutral. So you wanna help your camera with the color temperature of your actual key light that you're using to light your model. Well, I know this is getting really technical and I don't wanna bore you with all that information, but if you wanna learn more, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's Darina underscore Burkina, and I really hope to see you more on my page and Modern Salon.